Did you like the story we read last week about the hungry bear? Great. Now this week I'm going to read about another bear. Say please little bear. This story is by Peter Bentley and it is illustrated by Rob McPhillips. Daddy Bear and Little Bear were on the way to kindergarten. But Little Bear kept wandering off. Keep hold of my hand, Little Bear, said Daddy Bear. Go gently, Little Bear, said Daddy Bear. Little bear, it isn't nice to snatch. It's better when we share, little bear, said daddy bear. Later, daddy bear took little bear to little bunny's birthday party. They went shopping on the way. Please hold my hand, little bear, said daddy bear wearily. Then something in the shop window gave Daddy Bear an idea. Look, little bear, he said, that mouse wants to speak to us. Mouse wants to come to the party too, little bear, said Daddy Bear, but he hates to be late. He reached Little Bunny's party on time. Mouse whispered in Daddy Bear's ear. Mouse says, Excuse me, please. Little Bear ran to play on the train. Mouse whispered in Daddy Bear's ear. Mouse says, Can she have a ride on the train, please? Little Bear snatched the popcorn from his friends. Mouse whispered in Daddy Bear's ear. Mouse says, Would you like some popcorn, Bunny and Mole? When it was time to go, Little Bear stood silently on the doorstep. Mouse says, Thank you for having me, said Daddy. Little Bear looked at Mouse. Then he looked at Daddy Bear. Then he looked at Little Bunny's mum and said, And thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for coming, Little Bear, smiled Little Bunny's mum. You and Mouse can come and play anytime. Mouse likes the way you said thank you, said Daddy Bear. And so do I. Wasn't that a beautiful story? Let's learn to share and be nice to others, just like the little bear. <laughs>